Hey guys, good morning. We've already had a morning so far. Everly had her PT and it was a little bit of a circus this morning. I don't know why, normally it works perfectly fine, but for whatever reason the girls were super hyped up this morning and um, yeah, Everly was not hyped up and she was not enjoying PT today. Normally she does fine, she really likes it, but today she was not enjoying it. But she did very well. Her physical therapist was very happy with her progress. She's able to sit on her on her own for about eight to 10 seconds, which is progress um, because she wasn't able to do that even just last week, which is great. So we're headed in the right direction. Um, now we are about to head to the drive through zoo, the San Antonio Zoo, which is a huge zoo. If you've never been here, it's a great attraction to take your kids to, has been doing drive through which I didn't even think was possible, but they've been driving through since almost the beginning of quarantine. I think they started it in like, end of April, May, and it's just like a precedent in time to be able to do something like that. They've never in the hundred some odd years that they've been open, maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe it hasn't been a hundred years, however long that they've been open, um, they've never done that before. So it's kind of neat to be able to experience it. They had taken it away for a little while, I didn't take advantage of it when they did it before, and um, now we're going to do it. And the Girl Scout, the Girls Girl Scout troop is actually paying for it because there is a um, patch, part of a badge and a patch that they can earn. So it was part of their cookie rewards. This is the first thing that they've gotten to do with their cookie money. So they're pretty excited. So we're headed to do the drive through zoo. And I'm wearing this outfit. The girls were like, mommy, you look so fancy. I'm like, I have nowhere else to wear it and I want to wear it this summer because I bought it, still have the tags on it and so I'm going to show you guys really fast. It's from Torrid and it is actually, it looks like a dress, right? It looks like a dress. Thank you. Did you tell her thank you? Thank you. Let me see. I found that. It's good. Excuse me. Can I get it? Okay. So it looks like a dress. And it's actually a romper. I mean, it's like a romper dress because it's like long. I'm not, these have a name. I'm not exactly sure. If you know, please let me know down below. But it um, is nice and frilly up top, floral, of course. I bought it from Torrid. I think it's a size three, which is typically what I wear. Like a when I was a little bit smaller, like 20 pounds smaller, I was wearing a two comfortably. Um, but I could still wear a three, and I still wear a three now so it's really nice it's got kind of a plunging neck but it covers nicely in the back it has a tie up here and then it just has some cinching and it goes down all the way and then the front this one is a little bit more it looks a little bit more like a dress than my other one my other one is like this but this one kind of wraps around so I mean I guess if you pinned it up here it could be very much like a dress but when you walk it opens and you can tell it has shorts so I found it on clearance when I was pregnant you guys remember that um, so I don't know if they still have it or not but if they do I will link it for you down below so I'm excited we're headed to the zoo baby the, the, why I don't, you can't follow up that well, says arrow left why well, just ask <laughs> <laughs> people are probably like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh Lord. They have like people standing out here. They have cones set up everywhere. This, like she's telling you. They have like drink stations and stuff. No, I... Do you all already have your ticket? Yes. They had it all set up nice and neat, cones put everywhere. We had to be the one <laughs> to miss the directions and go in between the cones. That's okay, we're in line. We didn't have to wait. They have cones, if you've ever been to the San Antonio Zoo, they have cones all the way out to the train, which is super far. And then they take you on the side like where the employee entrance is, the back entrance, and they have like it wrapped, 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 wrapped. So I'm assuming they only opened 30 minutes ago. I'm assuming the line gets pretty long, but we're already in the actual zoo. So now you just drive four miles per hour. 
drive through zoo. Lions, tigers, and bears. Let's drive. I know, it's all made of Legos. How cute. Let me get my iPod ready. Look at him, you see him? Yeah, I'm not scared of him. Now. I told you they can't come by us. Uh -huh. She thought that they were gonna come up to the window. She's like, I don't wanna come to the window. He was swimming? It's hot, look, he was swimming in the pool like you. Oh. Don't drop him, okay? Okay. They have their iPods. Yeah, use your, use your, um, yes, the, um, whatever it's called. they have a pool? Yeah, they have a swimming pool. Look, he's over there. You see him in the shade? Uh-huh. Over here. Look, when Daddy turns, you'll see him. Baby, careful for the gate. <laughs> look at him. Whoa. Oh, there's another one? Yeah, he's that, that little thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Come on. Hi, there. Hi, there. <laughs> he has a huge pole, Mommy. He does. The hummingbird is made out of Legos, too. <laughs> this is such a neat experience. Woohoo, so much fun. <laughs> She said, woohoo, so much fun. Oh, it is fun. Is it? <laughs> oh, look, mommy. What? Oh, yeah. I cannot even see the bar. I just missed it. I'm on the show before, but I don't remember. No, I saw Different animal to see other animals, right? Yeah, but no, we haven't seen the elephant one. No, we're just gonna see elephants. See elephants. elephants. See 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 elephants. Probably there's a white peacock. <laughs> That's a lion. Yeah. Can you see that one swimming? Uh -huh. It's an ant eater. Oh, it's going in the water. Is it? Yeah. Right you see yes. that little pool, mom? I can't see yeah, it. You're gonna, you're gonna Look at him. He's looking for ants. Oh. Oh, how cool. Oh, we must go over there. Oh, there oh he shows up the lion. Wow. And the lions? Oh, yeah. Look at him. Do you see it now? Look. look you see it? Where? Adam, look. Over here. Over, over here. here. Look at that. Over here by the window. You yeah. see it? Uh-huh. I can now. No. Hi. At the zoo? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. some animals. We're doing the drive. Oh, look. look, look. For a zoo? What? Um. Ostrich. Ostrich? <laughs> Mommy, I remember from my special day, oh, the yeah. ostriches were very naughty. Mm -hmm. They picked it on her bag. Right, Daddy? Mm -hmm. There are some naughty ostriches. Daddy, can you read that? Ah, uh, read it. A uh, bush dog. What's a bush dog? I don't know. It looks like a dog. It's right there. Where? Wait, no, no, no. that's a bird. The bush dog. Mommy, look at it! The bush dog's over there, I think. Oh yeah, that is. No. Not the bush dog. No, the world. Oh, look, look, kangaroos. Look at them. I can't see. Kangaroos are You see them? Where? Oh. They're laying on the floor. Oh my gosh. I thought kangaroos were only in, in Australia. <laughs> They can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made the mistake of giving her gum. Some remember. of these spaces are quite tight. Like, I no, could, I if I stick my I hand far enough, I could literally I touch can, the cage. I cannot see kangaroos on top. You're watching kangaroos on top? Mm -hmm, but no. I'm not. Oh, I found one. Is that it? No, there's 13 oh. sections. Oh, I think they just give you, they do like snacks. So we're only in number eight. They do snacks. There's your music, baby. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, but it's sort of like a... <laughs> like a the park, yeah. They give you snack and potty breaks like every couple of sections and they also um, sell like merchandise and stuff like that. It's really a, a neat little thing for them to get money because they, without visitors, I see... Oh yeah, look, he has funnel cakes and pineapple. <laughs> It's a gardening. Look at the rose. Look, a rose Lego. Oh, the rose Lego. Oh, look at the little tractor. Or the. Oh my gosh, how cute! I know, I see it. That's so cute. Oh wow, that's neat. A sundial. A tiller, yeah. Look at the turtles. Look at those turtles, you see them? Oh, the fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, look at all those big goldfish. Oh, look at those goldfish. What over there? Koi's. <laughs> oh, mommy, look at one dog. Mommy, look at it. I see them. <laughs> Nobody's waving. Yeah, one person waved at me. What? <laughs> one person. Some people are wearing masks, some people aren't. That was super cute. It was just, it took us about maybe 30, 40 minutes to get through. It's a great way. I mean, they monetized what they could um, to be able to, to continue to take care of their employees and the animals and stuff because without people actually coming to the zoo, they, they're not able to do that. So that was really cute. The girls had a good time. They were um, excited to see every little thing, even though we've been, all been to the zoo before. It was just a neat experience to have it like this. And so we packed them. Um, what are those things called? Smuckers? Uncrustables. And some uh, yogurt and a juice box and stuff for them to have lunch here in the car. Um, I have not had breakfast or lunch yet, so I think we're gonna try and find a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts to stop at. I brought a Premier Protein shake, and I could always use the caffeine. So my window just opened, so I think I'm gonna have that. And I think we're going to do school supplies today so I can finish up that aspect of it. Um, we haven't got another desk for the area yet, but we have the chairs from my mom's house and if I get the rest of the supplies today, I think we will be good to go. So I'm getting the girls' school supplies. I'm at Target and they have, if you if kids are going back to school, they have a bunch of neat like locker things. I'm trying to decide what would be better. I'm thinking a couple of paper bins, a couple of bins to hold books. And I'm kind of excited. They have bulletin board. Like, I'm gonna be a full blown, oh look, this is what an apple is supposed to look like. I'm gonna be a full blown teacher. So sad because it's my most favorite time of year. And it's like, hmm. Okay, this is what I'm using for my classroom. And then these are the supplies that they had here for the girls. So the rest of them I'll probably have to order on Amazon. So I just left Target and I actually, <laughs> my cashier was Diana. Thanks so much for saying hi to me. It just caught me off guard a little bit because it's kind of strange seeing people in masks. I mean like meeting them for the first time in a mask. But um, she was like, Melissa, <laughs> that is so sweet. So if you're watching, hi, thank you for saying hi. Um, she was really sweet, she, we were talking about school and just different things. So I got the majority of what I needed. There were a few things that I they didn't have in the quantity that was needed or the prices weren't any better there than I could order on like Amazon. So, and then some things they didn't even have at all, like a red checking pencil. I feel like that used to be part of school supplies, but apparently not anymore because I asked one of the girls in the back and she was like, a red checking pencil, what's that? Like, she must not have been from my generation because I feel like we grew up with red checking pencils, um, but she had no clue what that was. So I'll have to order those online. And then also they had a couple drawing pads, like different ones, but they didn't have the ones that I needed like specifically that the girls needed and they needed some sort of drawing pencils and some gum eraser or something like that which I probably should be shamed for not knowing what that is but it's something for art 
and they didn't have that either. So just a couple of things that I'm gonna have to order on Amazon or online somewhere from where we buy those things from. So the bulk of it was done. I got the remainder of the folders and the composition books, the wide ruled paper, pen, what any pencils I got, um, the crowns and the markers and glue sticks and index cards was a big thing. I remember like three fourths, no, like halfway into last year, Emmy needed more index cards and I never ordered them online because then we went into quarantine right after. Um, paints, like Maddie needed an extra paint thing last year, just, you know, stuff like that. So rulers, um, po poly, po poly, not poly pockets, poly folders. No, what are they called? Cover sheets, whatever that a binder just like a bunch of stuff that was on there that I was able to get none of the cleaning supplies and stuff was on there though nothing Target didn't have any sanitizer um, no wipes no nothing so I'm not exactly sure how people are going to get a hold of those things for back to school I'm assuming at least half if not more people are probably going to be do probably going to be doing distance learning and if that ends up happening they'll end up using their supplies at home but what happens if they end up going back like half of the year I don't know so anyway now we are going to um, run to Ikea to pick up the other desk for the office and then we are going to head home and check 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 our school supply lists are on the way also I added all of their books that they need to my Barnes and Noble cart and I'm just gonna have them shipped to the house I have plenty of time so again check 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 I should always get it done this early every single year Ikea part two of maybe three of <laughs> back to school shopping their hand sanitizer smell like straight up like vodka <laughs> look at their new bags I love that this is all I'm getting because they were out of the desk. They're completely sold out of both colors. Crazy. So we're going to have to rethink what we're doing here. I found dinner though. Chicken meatballs. Whoop up some rice and some maybe zucchini. And that's what we're having for dinner. Okay, we're home. Long, long day. But um, I ended up buying these chicken meatballs from Ikea. I haven't figured out the points on them, but you can have seven for the serving size and I'm guessing they're gonna be three or four points because they're not really too, too bad. So that's pretty good and they're a good size. So the way that I do my like teriyaki meatballs if I'm trying to save on the points because I mean you can get really hefty with the barbecue with teriyaki sauce and stuff like that with all the sugar. So I had about, I don't know, a third of this bottle left of the G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. I love this. You, it's actually free for two tablespoons. Um, so I ended up using, like I said, probably about a cup. So I'd have to figure that out. And then I just dumped in um, maybe about a quarter cup of soy sauce, of the low sodium soy sauce in here and like shook it up to get all the remnants off, dumped that in there. And then I put three tablespoons of sugar-free blueberry jam. And you can kind of see that here on these. And then as it um, heats up and the meatballs are just frozen they were already cooked so as the liquid comes off of them it'll kind of thin your sauce a little bit you mix it around and this would be good in a crock pot as well and then you just dump it over the white rice I think we're gonna serve it with either green beans or yeah probably green beans um, and that's gonna be what's for dinner pretty easy very efficient and really not that expensive. This bag of meatballs was $8 and this will feed all of us. The rice was, I mean, super cheap, you know, can of green beans or frozen green beans, really not that expensive of a meal for five of us. Okay, the house looks like a bomb exploded. Honestly, you guys, that dinner was so good. We ate all of it. All the rice we made, I don't have the key. All the rice, all those meatballs, those girls, Pour that meal up. Highly recommend. If your kids like any kind of like sweet and sour sauce, they're gonna love it. And you can use it with any kind of meatballs. I've honestly used it with turkey meatballs, with Italian meatballs. Where's the key to the car? Those were chicken meatballs. You could use vegetarian meatballs. 
all of it was gone. I did a large family can of green beans because I have no more fresh or frozen. Where the heck is the key? I, oh, here it is. I literally have none. <laughs> I need to. I need to go grocery shopping. Um, so I don't have. I don't have any fresh vegetables whatsoever. But I'm slowly dwindling my fresh. No, my um, frozen stuff as well. I literally only have like corn and half a bag of mixed vegetables. So I need to get some veggies. But when, so I just ended up using my last can of the Italian cut green beans, which girls love. So I heated those up in the microwave, did the rice and the meatballs, tore it up. But I am taking a second to come out to the car because I'm so curious about this. I just watched on Facebook and TikTok viral video that showed your visor pulls out. <laughs> it does. Who knew that? Wow. So I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it, but you know, this visor, it clips here, right? So clips, put it up, put it down. You can pull this part out. I never in a million years would have thought that it extends. Who knew that? Who knew that? I did not. Oh my gosh. How amazing. I really don't know how effective that is. Like where, I guess it like, it covers your rear view mirror, so I really don't know how well that works, but what the heezy, like, I have owned, let's see, one, two, three, four vehicles, four vehicles in my life. I've been driving since I was 15 years old when I could drive my mom's Mitsubishi Gallant, who remembers those, it was maroon and I drove her Buick, Buick, what kind of Buick did she have? I don't know, it was like a sedan. I forgot it was called white. I drove the heck out of that thing to my Sonic job when I was 16 years old. And then I got my Mustang when I just had turned 17. Anyway, we're going back, way back into my childhood. I have owned that many cars and did not once, never did I once, no, that the visor pulls out like that. Who would have thought? Who knew that? Let me know in the comments because when I saw that viral TikTok on Facebook, I was like, no way. I would have noticed that for sure. Never noticed it. I have to see if Andres knows because he's owned probably four times as many cars as I have. I mean, for one, he is older than I am, but for two, he also has gone through, he's gone through more cars even since we've been together. I was um, looking at a, a Facebook viral TikTok. Did you know, I think I, I, I think I did the bad. Did you know that the visor pulls out? It extends? Yeah. You know that? How cars do that? When you, when you don't lock it, there's the side, you can pull second cord more. Oh my God, you know that? I've never, not <laughs> once in our 14 years of being together, have I seen you pull out that visor? I, I used to do it in the truck. In the truck, yes. And this one did on the car. He's owned so many more cars than I have. I mean, even since we've been together. Okay, let's run through them since we ran through mine. He had, when I met him, he had a Volkswagen Jetta. What was it, like a 99 or something? It was old. And it was old. It probably was older than that because it was old when I met you. It wasn't that old. Yeah, it was old. It was beat up. Okay, it was beat up. Maybe it wasn't old. It was beat up. Anyway, he had a Jetta green hunter green and then You got the Honda Civic Right the coupe Right after that. I think that's you traded in the Jetta for the Honda Civic coupe in black and it was a stick and I tried learning how to drive it and it failed me multiple times. I never could figure it out He was so good at it though. But anyway, he had that and I don't even know if they sell manual shift cars really anymore, but 
they, he had that and it was giving us problems. There was like a noise in the hood or in the dash of it. So we actually trade, not traded it, but like factory traded it in for a silver. That was a 2008 Honda Civic Coupe, mm -hmm. right? And then we traded it, like they gave no, us, they gave us an 09. 09. So yeah, no, it was, it was an 08 or an 07 and then we got an 08. Maybe it was an 07. Anyway, he had that for a very short period of time. Um, they ended up giving us a silver. Honda Civic Coupe, and then he traded that for a 2009 Toyota, Toyota Tundra, a white one, which if you've seen our wedding vlog, his groom's cake was the shape of his truck at the time. So that one was a beauty, it was lifted, it had large tires, all kinds of stuff. We brought Maddie home in that truck, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then what'd you have after that? Oh yeah, you drove a Camry and then you totaled it. I didn't total it. Well, you didn't total it. Somebody else hit you, but it got totaled. Put it that way. And then what? Then we got your Ram. Mm -hmm. No. No. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 You had the Ram, the Dodge Ram. It was, I think it was a 2015. And then we traded the Ram for the man. Anyway, yeah, I feel like you've had a lot of cars. I guess it isn't that many. But I think because he had a lot of cars before he met me too, I've only had four my entire life. But he has had more. Anyway, my point is, is he, he knew. Who, who of y'all, I didn't know that. I had no idea. I watched a viral TikTok on Facebook right now and I went to go check it out. And it does. I never ever in my life knew that it extended yeah. you learn something new every day i just switched over my liverage planner to this week for dinners and for my cleaning schedule and all that good stuff and i wrote down all the dinners that we have had that haven't been repeats or leftovers and it just makes me wonder why when you're making stuff for dinner can you never think of stuff to make ever like just in the last two weeks that I've been using this, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven 10, 11 different meals, completely different. We repeated the KFC bowls and then we have left, we had leftovers three days, but it's, and we ate out once. So it just is like mind boggling to me that I can, I can never ever think about what we're going to have for dinner. And I have all these different options so far. And we are probably just going to continue to try and come up with new things because we have stuff in the freezer to use. So anyway, this is just a little notebook that I wrote it in. Um, Nin actually got this for me for Christmas, like for a little secret Santa gift. So I thought that was cute. And I just randomly tear out pages, but I thought this would be a good little tracker to keep dinners and things like that and to be like, I don't know what's for dinner. Let me see what I have available and look down the list. My battery is dying, which is my cue to call it a vlog. It is 11.30, the vlog is uploaded. I ended up taking a break yesterday. I vlogged just very little because I ended up studying all day. And these quizzes are doozies, you guys, like doozies. I'm... <sighs> <laughs> I'm doing my best to, you know, keep all of them up, but oh my gosh, this week I'm going to have to change my study, the way that I study the things, how I'm studying them a little bit different because I changed up my studying from the first quiz to this last quiz and it didn't help me much more than the first quiz. So I'm gonna have to change it up again and hope that it just continues to help. So anyway, yeah. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I'm going to call it a vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow.